What makes the speed module ability so useful throughout all Xena maps? Okay, have you noticed how the starting point on your map affects your chances of winning? Well, yeah, the random master should put all players in the same starting conditions, but it only seems to be so. In fact, it's quite the opposite. An experienced player can easily estimate his chances of success based on the starting point. But what about the beginners? Well, luckily, they have us. So even if your spot is far from being perfect, well, just don't panic, amigo. There are always ways to turn things upside down. You just need to know where to move and when. So we have useful ideas for all the situations. So listen carefully. Okay, but first of all, let's start off with the maps. And there are five maps in Xena. Well, hope I pronounced this right, but here goes nothing. So Strola H049, Chion H587, Larvis H001, Traun 1x2 and Gnard 036. So in the case of the first two, a large part of the landscape is covered with water, which makes serious adjustments to navigation. Well, I guess it's time to recall the types of landscape as this is the basis for everything. So as you know, the map landscape is made up with pixels. Each pixel, except for those with buildings, has its own properties. Starting off with field, that slows your units by 15%. But road, on the opposite, speeds up your units by 20%. Forest slows your units by 20%. Mountain by 60%. And water slows your units by 70%. So the logic of movement seems to be clear. The road and the fields are your friends. The forest, mountains, and water, well, enemies. Well, sometimes you'll have no other choice but to cross a body of water, well, especially when escaping a sandstorm. That's why in ordinary situations, try to navigate through the roads. So here's the calculation example. The speed of your robot is 3 pixels per second. Floating around through a mountain will take you 10 seconds at a 60% speed penalty, so 1.2 pixels per second. Accordingly, the route's length is 12 pixels, and the round around the mountain will be 1.5 times longer, so 18 pixels. But you will not get a 60% penalty, plus get a 20% bonus for using the road. So your total speed is 3.6 pixels per second, and divide 18 pixels by 3.6 and get 5 seconds to complete the route. So, surprise! Well, things will get even more exciting next. By the way, a small disclaimer here. Well, the situation on the battlefield is largely dependent on the player's actions in the sandstorm. So just stay flexible. Always try to move towards the center, so you will have a better chance of reacting to the oncoming storm. Well, sometimes the best decision is to quit the match due to unwinnable circumstances. Well, think about it for a second. Besides maps, you need to know your robot's capabilities. That's why watch this guide and master the best one. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this map because it can be too unfair. But anyways, let's go through your options here. So, blue. Well, pretty difficult spawn point that forces you to go into conflict with yellow because the only direction is the tower above you. The alternative scenario is to move down the road to the bridge if, of course, brown doesn't take the tower first. Blue has to beat yellow to secure a proper late-game exit through the water tower below yellow. Yellow. Capture the nearest tower at the bottom, then compete with blue for the top one. With the accumulation of a sufficient number of units, you can cross to turquoise and capture the towers along the roads in the center of the map. Turquoise can safely capture the three closest towers and then advance to the mountain range to the center of the map. Well, remember what I said about terrain types? Red, safe point, which allows you to quickly capture two towers and cross a narrow channel through the forest. Next, capture the towers along the roads. Purple, pretty difficult spawn with the ability to quickly capture one tower. Next, you have to fight with orange to break through to the center. 
the route through the water and mountains will be too long. So try to take orange out of the game. Brown, fairly safe spot, although far from the center. Immediately capture the tower on the bridge to cut off blue's path, but only if you have an advantage. Next, capture the two remaining towers on your island and plan to move to the center. Green, possibly the best spot. Capture all three towers and cross to the bridge in the center by water. Capture the tower on the bridge along the way. Pink. The right thing to do would be to capture the tower from the top of the row. But watch Beige's movements, because if he sends troops to the tower on the left, he may try to capture your starting spawn next. Beige. Orange is your enemy and it's close. You should carefully capture the tower on the left and top. But if Orange withdraws all his army, you can try and quickly capture it. In the mid game, move towards the center across the bridge. Of course, capturing the towers along the way. Orange. You are between a rock and a hard place. Purple presses from above and beige presses from below. You need to take the tower from above or enter the bridge to the center. Or better, both options. And beware of beige. He will try to seize the moment and take your starting tower. If beige takes out all the robots, try to occupy his tower. Trion H5H7. This one is not user friendly either, but pretty competitive. And by the way, do you like it? Your option is the following. Blue. Well, bad spot. The best choice is to capture the tower along the road on the right. But you will have to fight Ping for the exit to the island. An alternative scenario is to capture an island with two towers below you and start a long trip across the water to the central island. Ping. Safe enough spot and you can easily capture the tower in the forest and quickly transfer to the central island. The main danger will come from the red player, who will capture the tower on the road. Red. I'd say, well, promising spot. You can quickly capture the two towers on the road and then cross over to the island on the right at the narrowest point. Water and mountains will provide excellent cover from the player on the right. Green, which is terrible spot. Your most realistic option is to capture the tower up the road and then cross the narrow water where purple will be waiting for you. The second option, you will have to oppose a fight on red for the tower on the left. Otherwise, it will not work out to win. There is a crazy option with an instant crossing to the central island. Well, if you manage to gain a foothold there, you will capture a bunch of empty towers. Beige. Safe spot requiring fast movement towards the center. You should immediately capture the tower below you. Following there are two options. To cross to the center or to engage in battle with turquoise. And yeah, the option of capturing the center seems to me much safer. Purple. Good spot. Capture the tower below you and be ready to fight off yellow. You will choose a different path. Capture the tower above you. So collect enough robots and cross to the center from the starting tower. Turquoise. Even better, this is a great spot. Capture the tower at the top diagonally and adjacent to the right. Then try to capture the third one below them. Orange will be your direct competitor. But if he chooses the tower to his right as the first capture, you are safe. And by the way, keep an eye on the actions of Beige. Four towers will be quite enough to build a large army. When ready, attack Orange and move to the central island. Orange. Good spot for crossing to the center. The right move is to capture the towers on the left and compete with Turquoise, otherwise he'll gain an advantage. You need to gain a foothold in at least one of the towers. Brown. You are relatively safe. Capture the tower on the left side of the road and with your next move, cross over to the small island and capture the lonely tower. Then you need to continue moving to the central island, bypassing the mountain range. Yellow. Difficult spot. You have two choices here. Go up and fight purple, who will take the tower first, or go to the left and open the flank for purple to attack you. 
Even with a successful outcome at this stage, the next step is to capture a long tower on a mountain island before moving to the central island. You will spend a lot of time moving through the water and mountains, but the only alternative is to confront Brown. So the choice is yours. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So we finished with water maps. Well, but wait, what about three more maps? Well, come back for part two and get what you crave. So what about that speed module? Well, in fact, this is the only skill, like this is the only ability that can offset a bad spot. So the legendary version will let you walk on water like Jesus. So can you ask for more?